Last weekend, 13 people reported sighting an unidentified flying object hovering over French's forest in Sydney. To tell us about the incidents, we have here Mrs. Glenis Messiah. Would you please make her feel welcome? Well, where did you see the UFO? In my street. Oh, on the street where you live? Yes, no, actually we were seeing some people off on Saturday night. They'd yeah. only popped in for about 10 minutes. We went out the front to see them off and they got into the car and I had my head through the window sort of saying my last farewells. My girlfriend looked up and said UFO. <laughs> it was a UFO. Um, it was just above the treetops. Very, look, very close. What does it look like? What's a UFO look like? Well, this one looked like a saucer shape. Oh. Definite saucer shape. And I think a lot of people have changed their attitude if they saw one. These... Now, a lot of you saw it, did they? Oh, yes. There I were mean... seven adults and a dog there that didn't even bark or, you know. And was it there for long? Yes, we watched it for about a minute and a half. And then what happened? It hovered over us. And we looked at it and we could see the ring of lights. I couldn't tell you if the centre was actually um, metallic or, or solid or what. It looked solid. Whether it was or not, I don't know. But it was a definite ring of lights. When we all... When they got out of the car and we all started screaming, it lifted slightly and just started to cruise away. You it did was... scream? Oh, we all were. Petrified. Terrified. You didn't rush inside the house? No, my little boy did to get my husband and he saw it too. How big was it? He... I couldn't estimate the size of it. But it went between the two houses across the road and it would have, would have covered the half of the roof of the house. I think, <coughs> I think someone's coming. There's a knocking in the studio. <laughs> they've, come, they've come to get us. <laughs> Actually, um, Arthur, the reason I reported it was because there must have been other people that saw this thing. Who did you report it to? I mean, who I does find... one report a UFO Well, I, the first person I thought of was the um, Richmond Air Force Base. So I phoned them up and he didn't laugh at me. Um, they just send you out forms and um, you fill them in and it's all supposed to be very highly confidential. You filled in a form? I got it today, yes. Yeah, I got it today. I haven't filled it in yet. But the reason I gave the story to the Manly Daily was because there must have been other people that saw this thing. Do you believe in UFOs? I mean, did you believe in <laughs> UFOs? Or no. You... Oh, I read a book on them many years ago, but I'm not one for science fiction anyway. Yeah, now did anybody... Uh... Apart from the people in your street, do you know if anybody else around uh, saw it? Or well, there was a boy walking or? down the street. Now, today, just 30 minutes before I left for the show, a woman phoned me from Narrabeen. And she and her sister watched it for four minutes. And she lives at Narrabeen. And she phoned me today, 30 minutes before I got here. It's a little here. spooky, isn't it? So I'm glad I reported it now. <laughs> I don't ever want to see another one. But you believe in them now, obviously. Well, you there's something, yeah. I saw, yeah. Now, did you think they were, you know, beings from outer space or...? Uh... Well, I think it was far too sophisticated for anything that we could come up with, honestly. I don't believe it was Americans or um, Russians or... I don't. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. I don't think I ever want to again. No, well, look, there you are. In a way, I'm sorry I saw it, but um, I did. Glenis Messiah and the, the UFO that hovered over French's forest last weekend.